going on YouTube back today with another tutorial today is going to be for this paper texture effect that can also be used as a transition effect as well so I'm gonna pull up Premiere see I already have two clips loaded up clip one clip two and I'm in a 1080 sequence and I believe this scene was shot in 4k so I had to scale the frame size to make it fit the frame I believe this scene is in 1080 slow -mo. yeah this scene is already in 1080 so to do this effect all you have to do is have your two clips you can line them up side by side so you got your two clips I'm using Brian Del Mata's paper texture pack black rip 12 you can use any paper texture that you want it's all up to you first before we drag on the paper texture what you're gonna want to do is go to the cut and go back about 15 to 20 frames I'm holding shift back to move five frames so I'm gonna try 15 I'm gonna try 15 make a cut and like I like to do you want to go three frames each and make a cut so one two three 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 and if it doesn't align on a cut you can just stretch out the scene one more frame to make it all fit and it's actually I'm gonna do 20 frames so I'm gonna do another actually I'm gonna go six so I can do it even three frames a piece so one two three cut so then what you're gonna want to do is go to the head of the clip and either add frame hold to the clip or sometimes what I like to do is just highlight all the clips right click speed duration zero then you'll have freeze frames it'll actually be moving at 0.1 percent but that's so slow in the amount of time you won't even be able to notice so there you have a sequence of freeze frames that we're going to overlay with the texture pack so then you're going to want to drag your paper texture over freeze frames then you're gonna want to scale to frame size this is the 4k texture pack so you have to scale this frame size if it's in a 1080p sequence um, I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit so it fills out the frame to about 120 and then what you're gonna want to do is go to blend mode and choose whatever blend mode you like whatever blend mode fits your edit Okay, I'll just go with screen for right now. So, once you have your texture over all of your freeze frames, let's see how that looks. That looks cool, but it looks kind of dry, kind of stale. You could add a little more. So, what I'm going to do now is split the texture the paper texture at every cut of each freeze frame then I'm gonna move I'm gonna start with the second rip then I'm gonna move each section to a different spot so you'll be able to so it'll give the illusion of different pictures if that makes any sense I'm just gonna go through and move these around ok 
Okay, so now what we have is it gives it more of a glitchy look because the actual paper textures move around. So now what I'm gonna do just to spice it up a tad bit more as it's transitioning into the next scene, I'm just gonna add a simple flash transition, three frames, make a cut. I'm just gonna use an easy flash transition that I made, quick preset that I made. Drag it onto that clip. So now what you have is and just that easy. A quick effect that you can apply to any clip, any scene that'll just add some spice to your edit. As I said guys, I'll be back with more vlogs, more tutorials, so catch you in the next one.